Oh, hi there, it's Morgan Wood. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about something near and dear to my heart. I'm going to tell you about the Berlin drag scene and introduce you to a few of my favorite performers that I've worked with in the city. And just as a disclaimer before I start, this is by no means a comprehensive list of all of the drag performers in Berlin, nor indeed all of my favorite ones in Berlin. There are so many, but I wanted to introduce you to just a few of them. So in case you don't know, I started doing drag here in Berlin. This is the city where I live. Even though I'm not from here, I'm originally from London in the UK, but I started doing drag here. And part of the reason that that happened was that the drag scene here is just so welcoming and friendly and open at least that was my experience, that I felt very encouraged and welcome to exhibit my drag here. Another interesting thing about the Berlin drag scene, I find, is that it's very international. There are performers from all over the world here, and of course there are even some German drag performers. What a concept. So I'm going to introduce you to a few drag performers here in Berlin, show you some of their pictures. I'll tell you a little about them, maybe how I know them and where we met, what we've done together, what else they're doing, what kind of drag they do, and where you can find them. Because really, without being a part of a community of drag performers to uplift and support me, I would not be doing this. Let's dive right in. Okay, I'm gonna start right off with who I consider to be the mother of Berlin's drag scene, Judy La Divina. Judy is an amazing drag performer from Israel who started doing drag here in Berlin, I think three years ago. And since then she's invited tons of other amazing talent onto her stage and given them a platform to perform. In fact, it was at Judy's show that I had my first ever stage performance in July 2018. Thank you, Judy. Besides that, she does amazing solo shows and she very proudly brands herself as that bitch who can lip sync in any language. So if you don't think that she could lip sync in the language you're thinking of, just give her a challenge. Okay, next up we have Persia. Persia is a fantastic queen from Ireland who I also met through Judy. She happens to be Judy's drag daughter, in fact. And Persia does some really incredible looks. She has a huge range to her drag. She constantly inspires me to push the limits of what drag can be. And she's also an extremely captivating performer. I've been lucky enough to perform with Persia several times. We even traveled together once. And she's also just a lovely person. And as well as being a drag performer, she's also a makeup artist. So book her for your shoots. Okay, oh my goodness, Kane Panic. I met Kane Panic when I had just started doing drag and I distinctly remember telling him I was inspired to do Drag King performances at some point in my drag career. We have now arrived, that has happened. And he was extremely supportive and encouraging, which was just what I needed to hear because at the time I was a little concerned, like as a cis man, can I do Drag King? Yes, of course, it's also a performance. Thank you, Kane, for reminding me of that. Besides, Kane is also a wonderfully lovely person, very humble, and he does some incredible, mind-meltingly good makeup looks. Okay, oh my goodness, this little weirdo, HP Love Shaft. I got to work with HP three times in February of 2020, just before Corona hit, which was a wonderful treat because I'd actually never worked with him before, but I had admired his work for a while. He has an incredible stage energy that is simply irresistible. Um, he's also just very charming. He's such a weirdo, I love it. Also, like, please, look at this makeup. Hello. Okay, this beauty, Nicole Empicole, she's originally from France. We've worked together just a couple of times, and I also met her through Judy. She's not just a fierce drag performer, she's also, I mean, look at her, a model fashion. I believe with the help of her partner, she also makes most of her outfits. I mean, you could never. She has a wonderful way of being on stage and just owning the space. And it's just such a joy to watch her perform. Oh, Focaccia, hey. So at first when I met Focaccia, I wasn't sure if the name was really the pun that I thought it was. It is. They do some incredibly versatile performances from queen to king and everything in between. I once had the honor of having my face beat by Focaccia for a show. That was really fun. Let's do it again. Focaccia also had two very memorable moments at my live show. The first being at the very first time I had this show at this particular venue and they broke a light on the stage and were extremely apologetic about it. And actually we were all a little worried because we thought the bar might be angry at them, but in fact, the staff there were actually thrilled because, to quote them, it was iconic. 
The second moment that comes to mind was when they performed, also at my show, a number from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Once More With Feeling Musical. In case you don't already know, I am a fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So this really spoke to me, and they did an incredible job of bringing Spike to our little stage here in Berlin. Thank you, Fogaccio. Okay, okay, Mistake. Hey, 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 everyone. If you don't know Mistake, you need to check them out. They actually had their very first stage performance at my show. I am very honored to have been able to facilitate that. And since then, they've launched themselves into the drag scene here in Berlin and exploded all over the place, to everyone's delight, no doubt. Oh, just such a creative soul with everything from makeup to outfits to lyrics. They wrote their own lyrics for their performance they did at my show. Amazing. And the puns. The puns are endless. Mistake. A vegan drag performer. Oh, okay. Hey, Ixa. This is Ixa. Ixa is a fierce drag performer, also DJ and rapper. They make their own music. And I mean, look at this neon fantasy. Oh, Ooh, drink it up. Yes. Such talent. I'm so lucky to be surrounded by such talent. Oh, hey fam. Okay, this is Vanessa Jupiter and Natak Ganymede, my drag mother and drag brother, respectively. In case you don't know the full story, I'm part of the House of Jupiter, the head of which is Vanessa Jupiter here. And that is the reason that my full drag name is Morgan Wood Callisto. Callisto is a moon of Jupiter. Natek Ganymede. Ganymede is also a moon of Jupiter, hence Natek's name. So traditionally, we often talk about drag mothers, drag families, being the people who first put you in drag. Vanessa never actually did that to me, but I kind of inserted myself into their family. <laughs> You're welcome. And I've had the honor to perform with these two creatures several times. We've co-hosted shows together, we've launched parties together, we've created performances together. And Vanessa is one of the few performers who's actually made me cry with their performances. Natak is also a very talented drag king who makes a lot of his own outfits, which have layers and reveals and everything you could want from a drag performance, really. Okay, this bitch. Katana 6, everyone. Look at her. Oh. Stunning. And she's so young. Don't we just hate her already? No, but seriously, Katana is a lovely, lovely person. She's very fun to work with, and she has so much energy on stage. It is infectious. And she's one of those queens who can go from doing a death drop and splits and backflips on stage to singing live with an angelic voice. So she really has it all. What a bitch. Okay, Eddie Piss, everybody. Welcome to the stage, Eddie Piss. Do you get it? Yeah. Eddie is an American drag performer who I met quite recently here in Berlin, and I've seen them perform several times, and it never disappoints. They do a great job of balancing entertainment with important messages, and I love that. Ah, oh, okay, Sophia Turnter, hello. Hello, hello. I mean, can you stop? being so iconic. Sophia is another performer who I met through Judy, and I've really enjoyed watching their drag journey unfold. They're clearly very talented with makeup, but they also make a lot of their own music, and they're a very talented and captivating drag performer on stage. So again, I feel very lucky to know them. Oh, and finally, our token German drag queen. <laughs> not really, we've had a few other Germans, but not many. It's Caddy Domplex, everyone. Welcome to the stage, Caddy Domplex. Get it? There you go, yeah. Clearly, I love Caddy. I mean, makeup today inspired by or copied from. Yeah, Caddy gave me a lot of encouragement when I first started doing drag. And actually, the first time we performed together was in a competition. And even though it was a competition, she was extremely supportive and encouraging and not at all rubbing it in my face. And I very clearly remember that day. We were lip syncing against each other in a lip sync battle to Stupid Girls by Pink. I was wearing these little jean shorts and a bra and this blonde bob and thought I was everything. Whereas Caddy comes out with the hips and the hair down to her butt crack and death dropping all over the stage and I mean it was clear from the beginning who was going to win. Though with the help of my partner that did inspire me to get bigger wigs. Just not today. Okay, stop judging me. Okay, thanks for coming on that journey with me, wasn't that fun? 
Please follow the links in the description to all of the Instagram profiles of those performers that I mentioned. And let me know in the comments who you are now obsessed with. And of course, there are many, many, many more talented drag performers here in Berlin. I was not able to mention them all, and these are not even all of my favorites, so I'm sorry if I didn't mention you. I love you all very much. So thanks for watching, and as always, if you like this video, please comment, like, and share it. Please consider subscribing, I have new videos coming out every week. And as you may have noticed, I've upgraded my lighting setup and the sound, so hopefully the quality of the videos only goes up from here. And in the meantime, if you aren't already, you can follow me on Instagram at Morganwood Callisto, M-O-R-G-A-N-W-O-O-D-C-A-L-L-I-S-T-O. Thanks for watching. Bye.